Good morning, yogis. It's Miss Brooke and Medi Taddy. We are here this morning to bring you a yoga class, a Halloween themed yoga class. Yeah, that's right. And it's a little chilly here in Fort Worth, or at least it was last night. So my house is a little bit cold today. Tell us hello. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Hello. Tell us where you're from. Good morning, morning, morning. We're going to wait for just a moment here. Let a few more people pop on. Hello. Wave hi, Medi. Hello. Medi's got his Bear Moss Day sweatshirt on because like I said, it's a little chilly in my house today. How's it where you are? Hey, little yogis. Hi, Henry. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, so we are going to start our class this morning and we start the same way all the time. Show me how you're feeling by putting on your yoga goggles. Put on your yoga goggles. Show me how you're feeling today. Are you feeling, ah, chilly there too? Yes, ugh. Yes, my feet, my feet and my fingers are cold. How about you, Medi? Are your feet and fingers cold? <laughs> Not his ears, though. He says his ears are warm because his his head, his hoodie's keeping him warm. So put on your yoga goggles and show me how you're feeling today. Are you feeling right side uppy? Are you feeling upside downy? Or maybe you're feeling somewhere in between. All those feelings are okay to have. We just want to know where we're at right now. Ooh, I'm cold. Yes, are you cold? Look at my, I got my, my nice fuzzy, don't worry, Medi, it's not real. It's fake fur, but it's nice fuzzy furry sweater on. And my spread kindness, Winton and Waits tea, support local. So let's get started, y'all. We've told you, told me how you're feeling. Now we're going to do some carrot breathing. Are you ready for this? Yeah, carrots. We're going to talk a lot about carrots today because we are reading one of my favorite books, Creepy Carrots. When I was a librarian, I would read this in October and my kids would ask for it every day single week. That's how much they loved it. So stick around. We're going to read this book. It's by Aaron Reynolds and it's uh, illustrated by Peter Brown. Peter Brown does some awesome, awesome illustrations. And so we'll read that in just a few minutes. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are going to get started with some carrot breath today. So come on down to your mat, meet Medi and I down there, and we're gonna start in child's pose. So you can bring your knees out wide and let your belly hang in between your knees, or you can bring your knees together, however is most comfortable for you, okay? And then I want you to come down onto your elbows and we're going to take our carrot tops we're going to be in the ground carrots breathing underneath the ground and we're going to take our carrot tops and put them above our head okay so this is the ground i'm putting my carrots above and we're going to take some big breaths in and out through our nose ready big breath in and out Big breath in and out. Last time, big breath in and out. Great job, little carrots. Excellent. 
excellent breathing, excellent. So we also got to stretch through our arms too a little bit. And did you notice that whenever you took a big breath in, that your belly and your chest filled up with air? And then when you let it out, what happened? Everything sunk a little bit lower, a little bit closer to the ground. That was kind of cool, huh? Awesome, good job. Manny did an awesome job with his carrot breath too. So now we are going to make a Halloween stew. Are you ready for this? This is gonna be so much fun. All right, Manny. So first thing you gotta do is sit with your feet wide, okay? Bring your feet really, really wide and we are going to grab a bowl from the cabinet, ready? Reach behind you. Mehdi, would you mind grabbing it for me because it's on the top shelf, okay? Reach behind you, grab that bowl, bring it down, set it down, Mehdi. Ah, good job, good job. And yes, so we've got this giant bowl and we are gonna make a Halloween stew. Yes, that's right. And you guys are gonna to get to help me put some things in the Halloween stew. So I'm gonna need your help. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I want you to take your hands and put them together like we are gonna mix all this stuff up. Okay, so we've already got our broth in there, Mitty, and we're gonna start adding all the ingredients. Ready? It goes like this. We're making a Halloween stew, shoo -doo. Boo-doo, we're making a Halloween stew. shooby doo be doo with creepy carrots and green gooey goblins and you, what are you gonna put in the Halloween stew, Medi? Hmm, Medi, what do you wanna put in there? Ooh, Medi says skeleton bones. What else, Medi? And hairy tarantulas. <gasps> oh my. Let's put them in there. Ready? Reach behind you. Grab the skeleton bones. As many as you want to put in there. Pop them in. Good job. And then we're going to grab them on the other side for those hairy tarantulas. Ooh. Rachel, should I grab those hairy tarantulas? Drop them in. All right, Maggie, you're going to help me stir this time. Are you ready? Here we go. We're making a Halloween stew. Shoo doo boo doo. We're making a Halloween stew. Shoo be doo be doo with green or with uh, skeleton bones and hairy, hairy tarantulas. And what are you gonna put in the Halloween stew? Leave us a comment. What should what else should we put in? Maybe some. Ooey gooey eyeballs. Ooh, ooh, yuck. What else should we put in there? Oh, Medi says some hairy, no, some green horn, uh, horned toads. Oh, green horned toads, yuck. We have horned toads here in Texas, don't we, Medi? Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a green one, though. They're usually brown. All right, here we go. We're going to put in those ooey-gooey eyeballs. Reach back there. Grab the eyeballs. Maddie, you going to pop them in? Maddie's going to pop them in this time. Good job. And then we're going to reach back and grab those green horned toads and drop them in. Blah, gross. All right, here we go. We're going to go the other direction this time, making our Halloween stew. Ready? Let's stir. We're making a Halloween stew. Do do ba do. We're making a Halloween stew. Shooby dooby do with gooey ooey eyeballs and green horned toes. And what are you gonna put in the Halloween stew? Ooh. What do you think, buddy? Should we give it a try? Should we eat it? Medi says he wants to give it a try. Ooh. Okay, Medi. Here we go. I'm gonna scoop some out for ya. Give it a try. Whoa! He doesn't like it. He says it's gross. He wants me to try it after he already said it's gross? Why am I gonna try it, Medi? All right, here we go. Mmm. 
It's actually not that bad. Not as bad as I was expecting. Huh. All right, friends. Let's bring our feetsies back together. And we are going to pretend like we are flying on a magic broomstick. Ready? So I want you to put your feet together and then rock back and forth with me. We're flying through the clouds. Great job, yogis. Now look up. Do you see up there? There's a kitty cat on a cloud. See if you can grab that kitty and put the kitty on your broom with you. Ready? Reach up, grab your kitty. Oh, good job. I'm gonna put the kitty on the back of my broom. Good job, good job. All right, where are we gonna go now? Oh, what else are we gonna see? We're flying through the Halloween sky. What else do you see? A green goblin up ahead. Do we wanna let that green goblin on our, our broom? What do you think, Medi? Oh, Medi says, let everybody come on. Everybody's invited. All right, let's reach up and grab that green goblin. You grab him this time, Betty. Grab that green goblin. Oh, and bring him down. Set him down on our broom. All right, we're going for another ride. Here we go. Woo! Good job, yogis. I see a werewolf up ahead. A werewolf. Do you see a werewolf? Oh, my gosh. I do too. Let's reach up and grab him. Ready? Reach forward, grab that werewolf. Oh, grab him, grab him, grab him. And then bring him back, put him on the broom. Oh, good job. All right, let's land our broom and then we're gonna play with our new friends. Let's play some yoga with our new friends. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready? All right. So here we are, we landed on the broom. Do you remember what the first thing we picked up was, Medi? Do you remember what it was? That's right, it was a kitty cat. We saw a kitty cat on a cloud. So let's do kitty cat pose together, ready? So you're gonna get on your hands and knees, just like Medi. And we're gonna start with a flat back. That means your back is flat, like you could set a table on it and eat dinner on your back. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? All right, so now we're gonna come into cat pose. We're going to pull our belly button into our spine and round our back up. Let your head fall down towards your mat and your chin come into your chest and say, meow. And then we're gonna let our belly fall to the ground. Look up towards the sky. And let's do another cat noise. Rawr. That wasn't a happy cat, was it? <laughs> Coming up, rounding your back. Meow. And then coming back down. Rawr. Good job, Medi. All right, do you remember what else we saw? That's right, we saw a goblin. A goblin, a green gooey goblin. So we're gonna come into a goblin pose. Bring your feet out wide, bend your knees, and then you're gonna stand with us in goblin pose. Can you make your goblin look really scary? Ooh, yeah. Mindy says he doesn't like goblin pose. It kind of scared him. <laughs> All right, Medi. And then do you remember what the last thing we picked up on our broom was? Do you guys remember? That's right, it was a werewolf. A werewolf. Let's do a werewolf pose together, are you ready? Let's start in downward facing dog. So get on your mat and I want you to look just like Medi, okay? So bringing your hands underneath you and your hips up towards the sky. We're gonna start in down dog pose. And then, ready? I want you to drop your hips to the ground. Yes, 
untuck your toes, and we're gonna say, Aroo! Werewolf. Ready, Medi, you wanna try it? Come forward into Aroo! creepy carrots oh it's so much fun you guys are gonna love it Medi says he's never heard creepy carrots before so this is gonna be a real treat for him I'm so excited hi there hello friends welcome the, those are that are just joining us hello hello my name is Brooke from Yogi Squad in Fort Worth, Texas. We are so excited to share yoga with you today. Hello, Sleepy Bear. And here we go, are you ready? We're gonna read Creepy Carrots. Maddie, I think maybe you should sit over here so that you can watch the book with me. You can look at the book while I'm reading so that everybody can see it, yeah? Since you've never read it before, it's a good idea. I'm gonna take a, swim, a sip, quick sip of my coffee. Okay, here we go. Creepy carrots, dun, 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 dun. Words by Aaron Reynolds and pictures by Peter Brown. The words were written by Aaron, Aaron Reynolds. Do you guys remember what that's called? That's right. He's the author. And then the pictures by Peter Brown. He's done so many cool picture books. Do you know what he's called? What his name, his title is called? That's right. His job is the illustrator the illustrator the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures you guys are so smart all right here we go meet my friend jasper rabbit jasper rabbit had a passion for carrots and the carrots that grew in crack and hopper field were the best Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Until they started following him. <gasps> what? Medi said, what? I know, Medi, crazy, right? First, he noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister Tonk, tonk, tonk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought. But he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. <laughs> the 
The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Oof, creepy carrots. It was getting ridiculous. What do you think, Medi? You think he should be scared? Yeah, Medi thinks he should still be scared. I agree. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed! His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Do you see the stuff that he was seeing? Just regular old orange stuff he's freaking out over. But is he? Hmm. Later that night, Jasper lay in bed. He heard it breathing. Terrible, carroty breathing. And there on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad! Dad! His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now, go to sleep. That was not going to happen. <laughs> Medi is raising his hand. He says, I agree. I would not be sleeping either. Ooh, he's scared. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Ooh, what do you think he's gonna do, Medi? Trap them? Mmm, I think you might be right. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. Here he is, making a line, sawing wood. Hmm. Excavating dirt. Hmm. What is he up to, this crazy rabbit? Look at him. What do you think he's doing? Oh, whoa. As the fun sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tunk, tunk, tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. Man, he even put crocodiles in there. Look at that. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. <laughs> Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. What do you think, Medi? Pretty funny, huh? <gasps> the end. <laughs> he tricked those carrots. He or the, the, that rabbit. He sure did. They tricked the rabbit 
into building a fence and now the carrots are safe, right? He doesn't have to worry about anybody getting in because nobody can get in. I don't know. I think Jasper was pretty determined. What do you think, Mehdi? Yeah, ja he agrees. He thinks that Jasper, if he, he could, he probably would just climb that fence. What do you guys think? I think so too. All right, Mehdi. We've come to the end of our class today. So we are going to say goodbye with some a namaste song, okay? So our namaste song goes like this. The light in me sees the light in you. The peace in me sees the peace in you. The love in me sees the love in you. Namaste. You guys sing it with me. The light in me sees the light in you. The peace in me sees the peace in you. The love in me sees the love in you. Namaste. Now we say namaste to everybody out there all at the same time. Are you ready, Mitty? Namaste, 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 yogi friends. Again, my name is Miss Brooke from Yogi Squad FW in Fort Worth, Texas. I am so happy to share yoga with you. We'll be back with another Halloween episode next week. We'll be reading The Dark by Lemony Snicket, illustrated by John Classen. It's a great one. And if you're afraid of the dark, you're gonna wanna tune in to us next week. Ooh, Mehdi says he's a little bit afraid of the dark. Oh, well, I'm gonna make sure Mehdi's here. Okay, Mehdi's here too, yeah. Cause you're gonna really, really love this book. Okay guys, we'll see you next week for another class with my friend, Maddie Teddy. Bye-bye, happy Saturday.